Right Danny, thanks for joining us. Lots to talk about. Let's have a quick word about the game of the weekend. Um, one of those sort of crazy games to be involved in. I had everything. Red cards, I had a sort of comeback on in the end. And on goal, unfortunately for yourself. But it was uh, it was a pretty crazy game, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, I think looking back on the game, uh, we're a bit disappointed. Um, how we sort of the way we played in the first half. I think, you know, the game's quite open. And, you know, uh, I think looking back on it, we should have maybe you know, been a bit more reserved and, you know, it's, like you say, we're, we're on a good run and we thought going there, you know, with, with a lot of um, a lot of quality going forward, you know, so maybe we should have looked at it and thought, you know, Dan's Park, they're not on a, they're not on a great run, but they've still got very good players and, um, you know, I, th I just think it was a very open game. Um, but like you say, you know, the boys done well, going down to 10 men to, to sort of fight back, but overall disappointed in the goals that we lost. It's something strange when you go down to 10 men, that can sometimes happen. We've seen a few examples recently, and you know, it was like us on Saturday, we sort of, uh, you know, kicked us in the year when we went down to 10 men. Yeah, it does. I, th I think it's sort of, you know, I think everyone sort of needs to pull together even more, you know, because you're a man down. You know, it's hard enough with, with 11 men, um, like I say, going, to, going away from home and, um, but no, I thought when we did go to down the ten men, I thought we were very disciplined in terms of, you know, getting people behind the ball, um, and you know, picking and choosing our times to, you know, maybe go forward and, and and sort of take a chance. From your point of view, this season, Danny, it's been a bit frustrating, hasn't it? Because you've had quite a quite a bit of injury problems, and um, it's only the past sort of like month or so you you've come back into the team. But you know, it's it's coincided with a decent run that we've been on as well. It must be so far frustrating for you this season, though. No, yeah, it is definitely. Um, you know, obviously, I had my my operation in the summer. Um, you know, I knew it was going to be tough, missing pre season and, and trying to get myself caught up with the with the rest of the squad. But um, you know, no no complaints from me. Listen, obviously, I, I want to play every game. Um, you know, every footballer does. But it just happened so when I come back into the team, you know, when I started to to be around the team again, that the boys were on a on a good run and you know performing quite well. <clears throat> you know, so it's 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 credit to them. You know, they're they they have the shirts at the time and like you say you know if you have your shirt it's up it's up to you to keep it and you know at the time the boys were doing that um you know I've I've come back in and you know hopefully you know I can I can stay in um but at the end of the day it's up to you know how I how well I perform and you know hopefully I can I can you know keep improving this season. Let's look ahead to Saturday then yeah when your former teams are more nice and uh, you know they're coming off the back of a defeat against Partick Thistle at the weekend so they'll be looking to bounce back the, the same as we are. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think that was a surprise as well. Them um, losing to the party, um, but they're they're a good team. They've got a lot of experience in their team, um, and I think they're you know they're they're, they're big, they're strong, they're direct, and um, it's going to be a tough game, another tough game, another away game. And um, but you know, it's one the boys are looking forward to. As strange as it sounds, coming off the game um, against Dundee, I think there was you know there's a wee bit of. You know, confidence coming from it in terms of we nearly you know we nearly come back, but we also look at the other side and there's a lot we can learn from that game. And in terms of where we want to be in the league, we're still in, just in the playoffs. Obviously, Dundee are level in points with us now, but we're still fourth, and it's all about getting into those playoffs because it does look like Dundee United are going to run away with it. It is, yeah, but you know it looks like that looks that way at the minute. Um, you know, I think this league it's it's a funny one because I think if you can put a run together, then you give yourself a right chance. Um, and I think the the key really is can you know being consistent and like you say trying to put that run together of, of games where you know we're picking up you know maximum points and if we're not picking up maximum points we're at least taking something from the game so um, you know hopefully hopefully we can do that. And one thing the team has shown recently we had a disappointing couple of weeks we got beat by Allo and then obviously out the cup from Stranraer but the squad seemed to pull together and really turned it around so it, it shows that there's a, a bit of character in this squad as well. Definitely, um, you know, it, it could have went the other way after those two defeats. Um, you know, especially after the Strom Rar game, but we were so disappointed in terms of you know how we played. But I think you know the, the main thing that the hurt us the most was that they probably outworked us on the day. And you know, like I said, but we spoke about that again as a group. Um, you know, we're all honest boys, and we all only want the best for Dunfermline and and ourselves. And you know, we we want to you know try and bring success to this club and. Um, you know, so so we spoke about things after the Stranraer game and knew that you know we need a we needed a reaction for ourselves, but for the fans also.